Okay, so what do you do if you're a teacher and you need to learn Google Docs fast? Well, keep watching because in the next eight minutes, we're going to help you get up and running with Google Docs. So let's get started right now. Okay, so we're going to learn the basic skills of Google Docs by creating a sample assignment in Google Docs. So the first skill is to navigate to Google Docs. Now, your account might have a waffle to get to Google Docs, but otherwise you can always get to Google Docs by going to docs.google.com. And this brings you to the Google Docs homepage. Now at the top, you have a search bar to help you find things. And below that, you've got a section with options to start a new document. And then further down, you've got your library of documents. So we're gonna go back up here to click on blank document with a plus sign to get started. And now we're really in a Google Docs document. So let's take a quick look around to learn the Google Docs interface. On the top left is your file name, and we're gonna add one in just a minute. And below that, you've got your menu. If you click on any of the menu items, you'll see a submenu for each item. And right below the menu is the toolbar. Now, if you're working on a smaller screen like a laptop screen, you might not see all of the items on your toolbar. And to see the hidden toolbar items, you click on these three vertical dots here. And then down below is your document where you're going to create your content. Okay, so let's start creating that sample online assignment. Let's say that this assignment is about rock types. So first of all, let's name the document. And we do that by clicking in the field for the file name and putting the title in. Now let's write some content. We'll do the title and some basic information, including a list of the three main rock types. Okay, so let's learn how to format this text. We're gonna start with the title. Now to look like a title, it should probably be bigger, maybe bold and maybe centered. So let's go ahead and do all three. We're gonna start by selecting the text. Get your cursor at one end of the text, click, hold, and drag over the text. Now to make this text bigger, we need to change the font size. And to do that, we go to this section in the toolbar. And right now you can see this font size is 11. So let's go for something a fair bit bigger, maybe 24. Now to make the text bold, we move over to this section in the toolbar and click on B for bold. And then finally, we're going to center this text. Now we're not actually seeing the icon to align text. So we need to click on those three vertical dots, remember? So we can see more of the toolbar. And there is the align icon. And we need to click on the option to center the text. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. Let's move on to the next piece of text. Now we might want to make this bold, kind of like a heading, so let's do that. We'll select the text, go to the toolbar, and B for bold. Now let's move on to this list of rock types and select it. Now to make it look like a real list, we might want to give it bullet points or make it a numbered list. And we're not actually seeing those icons. So let's click on the three vertical dots again. And we can see there is an icon for bulleted list. We can try that. Or maybe it's better to do a numbered list because we wanna highlight the fact that there are three main rock types. So let's do that. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so real quick, if this video is helping you learn Google Docs, consider subscribing or hitting the like button. Much appreciated. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some visual interest to this document. Let's insert an image. So to do that, we go up to the menu and click on insert. And the very first option you can see is image. If we move our pointer over to the pop-up menu, we can click on the option for search the web. And then that opens up a side panel on the right where you can find and insert images directly in Google Docs. So in the search field, let's enter rocks. And then that first image is not bad. So let's just click on that. And then we need to move down to the bottom and click on insert. And whoa, that's kind of big. So let's resize that. We click on the image 
and then you can see these little dots on the edges. So you click and hold one of the corner dots and drag it to make the image smaller. So let's go for a size just a little bit smaller than that section. Now, honestly, making images align well with text in Google Docs can be a little tricky, but clicking the second icon for wrap text under the image lets you move the image around freely and it wraps the text around it. So we'll just move it around until it looks okay. And there we've got our image in place that's looking pretty good. All right, so now let's just write some directions for the students. We want them to watch the video about rock types and then complete the table using information from the video. Okay, so now we need to create a hyperlink. A hyperlink is clickable text that opens up something on the internet. So in this case, we just want the hyperlink to play the video. So first, let's just write the text. YouTube video, rock types. Okay, now we've got another tab ready with the YouTube video. So let's just go over there. We're gonna copy that web address from the address bar and then go back to our Google Doc. Okay, so select the text and then in the toolbar, click on the icon for insert link. And then we paste that YouTube address here and click apply. And there we go, we just created a hyperlink. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now let's create that table. Now to insert a table, we go up to the menu, click on the insert, and this time we choose table. And if we move our pointer over into this pop-up window, we can choose the exact number of rows and columns we want. And we can always change this later, but for now, let's create a two by four table. And we'll fill out this table with a header row and then complete the columns for rock types. And the students are supposed to complete the table with descriptions for each rock type. So let's just adjust the column width so they've got a little more room to write. And then finally, let's just do a little bit of formatting. We'll select the text in the header row and then go to the toolbar to make the text bold. And then let's add some color by going to text color and we'll make it blue. All right, we've got a complete document. This is ready to assign to students. One other thing that we can do is share this document, maybe with another teacher. So to do that, we click on the blue share button in the upper right corner, type the email address for anyone we want to share with, and now they've got access to the document. All right, so that's a good foundation to get started with Google Docs. If you're interested in learning more, check out the other videos on this channel. You can learn more about Google Docs and then other Google Workspace apps as well. So we'll see you in the next video.